Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the source code of uh, this MATLAB based tutorials there. In our previous video, we talked about how to design a fuzzy logic controller in MATLAB Simulink uh, fuzzy system environment. In this video, we will talk about how to use the same fuzzy uh, logic controller in MATLAB. So let's start Simulink. In Simulink, if you type fuzzy logic in the search box, you will get this thing. And so let's create a new model. And take the fuzzy logic controller there. Now, in order to use the same fuzzy logic design which we uh, built through the fuzzy logic uh, FIS editor from the MATLAB, and the current path of the of the MATLAB should be same where uh, your uh, FIS file is lying. So. Uh, our previous SIS, FIS file was lying on desktop and if we go through it this was the name of the FIS file motor speed fuzzy so double click on this and type the same name in the single colon motor speed fuzzy dot fis and then apply and then ok so this file has been added now uh, we can add the source there and we can do one more thing uh, let's say uh, if we want to revisit what uh, uh, our uh, what our FIS file or fuzzy controller rule were there so if we go to the FIS property so there were two inputs speed and speed was varying between 0 to 100 and voltage was varying 0 to 5 depending on the speed so uh, yeah and now go back to uh, simulink model now add source here because we want the, uh, to see how this uh, fuzzy logic uh, controller is working so we'll add a strap signal there and remembering our input to the fuzzy controller is in the RPM speed and then sync to the scope so this was our motor controller and let's say our final value is suppose 80 and our initial value is say it is running at 20 RPM and then apply and then ok and let's run it before it let's change the configuration properties of the simulink model and make it a fixed step and step size 0 0.01 and run it so our voltage has been dropped as our rule says if it is running at 220 rpm the voltage is near about 3 volts as soon as this decreases the voltage uh, automatically the voltage correspondingly decrease to the line uh, from this fuzzy logic controller for more variation in the speed let's uh, instead of this strap signal we can also apply a sinusoid wave there and let's connect it here and let's see how the voltage is varying between uh, if our speed is varying uh, in a sinusoidal fashion so bias is 50 rpm because maximum is up to the 50 and amplitude is was the 50 and then uh, let's run it so this is the variation in the voltage uh, of the 
uh, of the fuzzy logic controller with reference to our uh, sinusoid wave so voltage was uh, rpm was increasing and corresponding voltage was decreasing and as same fashion when rpm uh, speed is 500 or 50 rpm the voltage is going to 2.5 uh, so this is how we can design and simulate the fuzzy logic controller in matlab and it's very easy uh, this is generally uh, this fuzzy logic controllers are generally based on the human perception or the intelligent perception like uh, if the speed is high decrease the voltage and if the speed is low increase the voltage so that is how we can implement this fuzzy logic controller in matlab and we can also simulate um, the same in simulan i hope you have understand uh, this fuzzy logic controller and in our next upcoming videos we will talk about how to implement a fuzzy pid controller in MATLAB. So that's it for this video. Thank you.